Welcome to Edmonton for I don't know for another F1 race, I believe the seventh race. Gentlemen, start your engine. There is the command. Alright boys, pace and rhythm all day today. Driver's department, crew chief, pit crew. Pace and rhythm all day, that's all we need. Driver 18 starts on the pole. So in second, Seth Brown, Leia Walker, driver 8, Drew Austin, and a 23 truck. A oh, government car! Well, this is a totally new track. Uh, I just downloaded it yesterday. I don't know where this, where is anything, ever, or where is pit road when their finish line. Uh, never mind. Okay, there it is. Safety car now on pit road. Here we go. Of course, this track is for Indy car, but who cares? Still a road course. And I just noticed that is a funny looking flag stand. And the green flag is out in the air. We're racing at Edmonton. Driver 18 gets a nice start to roll into the corner smooth. They had a lot of practice. This could maybe be a chance where those drivers can make those passes. Then again, the leader is just gonna rocket launch their way through. And whoa, Brad Johnson's on pit road. And oh, Brad cautions out anyways. Okay, driver 18 will now lead us under the caution when he crosses the stripe. Alright, we're under caution for the first time on the first lap. Now we'll take a look at the replay of what happened. Well, it looks like this is the dangerous spot. A is just one little tap. Huge wreck. Brad Johnson and a few other drivers. Everyone's Two drivers are stuck in the middle of it trying to get through, but they can't. And pretty much that's it. Now take it back to the restart, as usual. Alright, getting ready to go back to green. Is that. Oh, never mind. Uh, looks like there's something wrong with the start, maybe. Seth Brown actually cracked that corner under the caution zone, but yeah. Green flag! Green flag's back out in the air at Edmonton. Driver 18 still the leader. Danger corner and hard. And even the bigger wreck. Drivers can't keep up like this. I can hear more tires squealing. Whoa, watch it. It's currently a boring race right now. There's a leader. Probably gonna lead every lap we race. Second place driver lost control. And into the tire barriers. Leia Walker. Caution's out again. Driver 18 in the lead. Take a look at a replay of what happened. 
the driver eight, of course, lost control of the car, and a few others, and everyone start to bunch up and wrecked. And they're going five wide right there. And now I'll take you back to the restart. That was a pointless caution. That's bullshit. All right, getting ready to go green. One driver is in the way. I don't know what's going on there, but I guess one of those road course glitches. But uh, here we go again. And he lights back out in the air. This driver ain't wasting no time. Makes the move. Whoa, Red Bull cars. Nearly made contact, and there goes more drivers. Cautions out, race is over. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, we ain't gonna have a caution for once. No, they're gonna wreck soon. With two laps to go. This driver's been leading everything. Which is probably pissing everyone off because it's an AI driver. Not even paying attention. There's Drew Austin. And there's John McNamara, Talladega road course winner. Burr snapped the winless streak in this series. He's currently in third with like to get cautions out, what the hell? We have two to go. Apparently, some driver could be stuck or something, but uh... oh, that Drew Austin lost control. It puts John McNamara in second. White flags being displayed and yellow, white and yellow. So yeah. So it looks like this driver will win after leading everything. Now I'll take a look at the replay of what happened. Here is the reason for the caution. Sam Curtis overshot the corner right in front of Casey Clover. And that brought out the caution and they're all the way at the back and into the grass. But nope, caution had to come out. Now I'll take, a, take you to the finish of the race. Well. Flagman now showing the checkers. Driver 18 led all the laps and wins today's race. Sorry for a really boring race. I try to get them pack racing, but nope. One driver had to lead everything, and there was never a lead change, ever. Now to you to your race results. Here's the official results after the boring race. And yeah. We'll see you for race 8 and another road course. Here is the point standings after 7 races. John McNamara re remains in the lead. Jeff James goes up 2 spots, 97 points back. I just noticed John McNamara is the only driver who's reached the 1,000 points every year and it's the rest and we'll see you for race 8